Okay, this is uh, the Harry Hauler. I also did a Corgi Porsche 917 Captain America that I did not do a before video on. I'm not sure why I didn't, but I did not do it. Um, I can't remember if it was I wasn't going to show it or maybe I did it and deleted it by accident. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. But this car is in pretty good shape really fast I'd love to see see it in some of these DRC events that I've been watching for those of you who don't watch that a 3d bot maker among others have a racing league where people send in cars I would send this in a heartbeat if anybody wants it anybody who's running a racing league be it DRC or anything let me know but you see in a minute why I'm not overly happy with this car Okay, and here it is taken apart. Uh, it's all straight, it's just chipped up. I found this strange. There was no paint underneath the body to speak of. A little bit of overspray, that's about it. That doesn't happen often. That chrome interior, of course, the chrome is off the air intake. I guess that's an air intake. Not really sure what this car was based on, but it's definitely a fantasy type. Uh, again, really fast on the track. And here we go. Um, the base. It's a typical super fast base. Painted black. Uh, wheels are fast. I, I can't get over how fast this is. You, you'll see in a little while. The windshield was really in good shape. A little bit of polish and some floor shine and that thing came out great really did uh, along those lines since I'll run out of time here the uh, the Corgi which you'll see right now the Corgi Captain America car came with a red window and I found out if you put rubbing compound in there the red paint comes off the inside um, I didn't intend on that it just happened so I went with it. Uh, this one's pretty beat up. So I was just kind of playing with it. And this is kind of what I thought that the Corgi Captain America should come with. That is the original sticker, by the way. I managed to get it off in one piece. Stuck it back on there with a the glue stick. And here we go, the Harry Hollow. The reason I didn't like it, that black just bubbled like crazy. I painted both these cars several times. I'm not repainting them for a while. Of course, if someone would like to let that Harry Hauler race, look how fast this thing is. I won't repaint it, but I'm going to send it just the way it is. Anybody who needs one. But I think it's fast enough to win. Now, I haven't put graphite or weight or anything in it. So just the screws are the only weight added to it. There they are. Uh, happy with the paint schemes not really happy with the cars themselves how the paint jobs went on there I had redone them several times and just was not going to do it again it did enough uh, let's see what the girls think not happy with it not happy with it this is why Stan and Steve have got their sisters painting now because they just weren't cutting it anymore they, need, they were wearing themselves out and it's time for a lot of adult beverage after this one. and Cindy decided to give us a show anyway alright guys thanks for watching I've got a uh, Dukes of Hazard little, little remembered car coming up right after this Matchbox Mark tomorrow. You guys have a great day.